All right. Right wingers are really, really concerned that Kamala Harris is not white. And that's true. Kamala Harris, as far as I understand it, is half Jamaican, half Indian. There are some MAGA people that are furiously saying she is not actually a black woman because Jamaicans don't consider themselves black. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if that's true. Uh, when I worked at Circuit City, I had a Jamaican manager and he did not consider himself black in the sense of being African American. Um, he would sometimes uh, not jokingly say, uh, I'm not black. What do you mean? And it may be true that Jamaicans don't consider themselves black. I don't care. What is clear is that Kamala Harris is not a white woman that we can say for sure. What a conversation. And Republicans are using code to talk about that by saying that Kamala Harris is a DEI hire that she is a DEI candidate, et cetera. Now, this is just code for she's not a white woman. A DEI means diversity, equity and inclusion. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with Kamala Harris replacing Joe Biden as the uh, Democratic nominee. But here are some examples of, the, of this. And, you know, they, they tried going after how she laughs. That hasn't been going really well. They tried going after the fact that she doesn't have biological children. That hasn't gone really well in the context of this right wing effort to repress uh, women's bodily autonomy in a medical and reproductive context. So now they're going on to it's effectively affirmative action. She wouldn't be here if she were a white woman. Here is Larry Kudlow, former Trump economic advisor on Fox Business, uh, making this argument. And of course, her whole history is DEI, diversity, uh, exclusion and uh, equity. I mean, <laughs> OK, I don't <laughs> I don't know if he's uh, del deliberately me uh, m messing up what DEI means there, but he seems confused. Let's continue. Uh, exclusion and uh, equity. I mean, inclusion and equity. I mean, what does that tell you? It's totally woke and it's anti cops, among all the other things, putting the economics aside. More DEI, yep. defund the police, def uh, eliminate ICE, never even talk to the chiefs of the Border Patrol. I mean, really? How's she going to stand up to that? Now, one of the things I love about this is y y this reminds me of the Biden's a communist and I hate him for it. Biden's not a communist and I hate him for it. Simultaneously, you had Republicans arguing. Biden is a socialist or a communist or a Marxist. They don't really know the difference. They don't really care. They don't care to find out. But we don't like him from the right because he's a communist and he has unleashed holy hell communism upon the United States. On the other hand, you had far leftists saying, I can't stand that Biden's not a communist. I can't stand that Biden's not a socialist. I'm a socialist, some of these leftists said. And Biden is too much of a capitalist for me. Similarly, similarly, you have right wingers like Larry Kudlow saying Kamala Harris is anti police. She's going to defund the police. It's going to be absolutely terrible. Whereas you have some on the left who say we don't like Kamala because she's too pro police and too pro war on drugs based on her record. What, 12, 15 years ago as a prosecutor? Uh, and attorney general of California. So simultaneously, we hate Kamala because she she's against the police and we hate Kamala because she's too much in favor of the police. But what they can agree upon, at least as far as the right wing is concerned, is she's not a white woman. And that means that she, by definition, must be an affirmative action hire. Here is Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick channeling B. Arthur, who says that uh, Kamala Harris would be the queen of DEI. Um, so she would be the queen of DEI if she were elected. She is DEI. There you go. Uh, Kamala Harris is the uh, embodiment of DEI. And then Dan Patrick also saying he simply can't imagine Kamala Harris involved in any kind of negotiation. Can you imagine uh, her negotiating with any of the tough world leaders, as Donald Trump calls them, because they are. You know, the guy I can't imagine negotiating with the tough world leaders is Donald Trump because he's smitten by them. How is Trump going to negotiate with Xi or Duterte or Orban 
or Putin or uh, 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 Kim Jong Un or whoever when he's in love with them. He's enamored with them. He's so impressed with them. Now, what I can tell you is unlike everybody else who's been a Democratic or Republican presidential nominee, I sat with Kamala Harris a few months ago and I chatted with her for over an hour in a small group setting. And what I can tell you is that I can very much imagine her sitting and negotiating with tough world leaders. She's not going to be impressed with them. She's not going to be smitten with them. She's not going to be in love with them the way that Donald Trump has shown himself to be. I'd be quite confident of her in that situation. Now, here is a Republican Congressman Tim Burchett, who also says Kamala is DEI. Biden said first off, he said he's going to hire a, a black female for vice president and that not he just skipped over. What about what about white females? What about any other group? It just when you go down that route, you you, um, you take mediocrity, and that's what they have right now as a vice president. So you, are you suggesting she's D, she was a DEI hire? One hundred percent, she was a DEI hire. One hundred percent, he says she is absolutely a DEI hire. And then we also heard from Republican Congresswoman Harriet Hageman a vile and repulsive individual who says that intellectually not only is she DEI, but Kamala Harris is the bottom of the barrel. Well, I think she's one of the weakest candidates I've ever seen in the history of our country. Uh, have you met Sarah Palin? Uh, I, I mean, intellectually, just really kind of the bottom of the barrel. And from the standpoint of just uh, who she is and the policies, the positions that she's taken, uh, her failure to do anything in terms of the border, that sort of thing, I think it's just a failure from top to bottom. Uh, I think she was a DEI hire, and I think that that's what we're seeing. And there you go. She is a DEI hire. And finally, finally, Jesse Waters with the same sort of thing. The only reason Kamala is in the White House is because of the DEI deal Biden cut with Bernie to seal the nomination. So this is all code for Kamala Harris wouldn't be here if she were white. Implicit in that is, of course, that Donald Trump must be qualified while Kamala Harris clearly is not. They also usually mispronounce Kamala Harris's name. And at this point, I don't know if that's on purpose or if they simply uh, don't if if they are so bottom of the barrel, to quote Harriet Hageman, that uh, they just can't figure out how to pronounce her name. So this is going to be a theme. The themes so far are she laughs funny. She doesn't have biological children. And if she were white, she wouldn't be here. Will this work to defeat Kamala Harris in November? That's the question. Let me know your thoughts. Info at David if you've been thinking about getting a new mattress, Helix Sleep is where I would start. I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for years now. I recommend Helix to everyone, which is why I wanted them as a sponsor. If you don't want to take my word for it, Helix has been awarded number one mattress by both GQ and Wired magazine. And one of the things that makes Helix unique is their sleep quiz. I didn't really know what kind of mattress would be best for me. But you do this short sleep quiz. You answer questions about your body type and your preferences, what position you like to sleep in. And Helix will match you with the perfect mattress for you. So you know you're actually getting something tailored to your needs instead of going in blind like most people do. I got my Helix mattress designed to stay cool at night since I hate getting hot while I sleep. Shipping is always free. You get 100 nights to decide whether you like it. Right now, for a limited time, Helix is offering up to 30 percent off all mattress orders and two free pillows. It's the biggest discount they've ever offered. Go to helixsleep.com slash Pacman. The link is in the description.